Hi, I'm Mitch from Sonam International and welcome to our Anaplan tutorial series. One of the most common questions that I get asked is what's the difference between sum, lookup and select an Anaplan and how do I know which one to use? I think that the best way to answer this question is with a quick demo. So let's jump into Anaplan and I'll show you the difference. Here we are working with the Leprechaun Smoothie Company. They sell smoothies all over the world and they're looking for help with their budgeted production volumes. So we made this model for them. This model has two hierarchies, a plant hierarchy made up of zone, country and plant and a product hierarchy made up of type, flavor and product SKU. Each product also has two properties. The first being the pack type and the second is the pack size. Let's take a look at our modules. The first module is our data staging module which holds all the raw data we're going to use for our demonstration. Following Anaplan best practices, it only has one line item, the actual volumes. Properties are in a separate module. If we take a look at the dimensions, you can see we're using the product SKU, the plant, and the time dimension. So this is our base data that we will use for the rest of our demonstration. Moving on, let's take a look at our systems modules. The first I want to show you is our properties module, which shows us which SKU has which pack type and pack size rather than having it in the data staging module. Our second system module is our time settings module, which shows us what the current month is. Finally, we have the RP modules, which we will use to create our reports and show which formulas we are using when. I also have this table, which we will use to show which formula we use in which circumstance. Alrighty, let's get started. Let's start with RP01, volumes by country. We are gonna connect this to our production volumes by using a direct link. If we open up the module and look at the dimensions we're using, we are using country and time. If we compare that to what we're using in DS01, you see here we're using product SKU, plant and time. Now, to create a direct link, you need a dimension that is similar across both modules. Now you might be asking yourself, hold on, we don't have country in our DS01 module. Well, actually we do. Remember that country is a parent of plant meaning that they roll up and are connected. So, if we go and enter the formula by creating a direct link, you see that the numbers we get exactly match what we have in DS01. UK is equal to UK. And that is how a direct link works. Two important things to note when creating a direct link is that first of all, all other dimensions need to have a top level. That being, in this case, all products for product SKU. And secondly, the summary method of your source needs to be sum. We will go over different summary methods in a different video. That's all you need to know for direct links. Looking at our table, plant was a list in our source and it was also a list in our destination through country. Therefore, we used a direct link. Let's move on to the next example. Let's look at RP02 volume by pack type and size. In this module, we will sum up for all zones the different productions of each pack type and size combination, as you can see in the dimensions we are using. Taking a look at our data staging module, you see we have product SKU as rows and we have all zones selected in our page selector. So, for example, we want all the 0.3 sized plastic containers to be summed up to the 0.3 plastic section of our destination module. But remember, we don't have pack type and size in our DS module. We have it in our systems module here, following Anaplan's best practices. This is where we are going to be summing from. But before we do that, let's go back to DS01 and create a filter to make sure we know what we are summing and to make sure we are getting the right numbers. So, let's filter under SY01 for pack type and let's say plastic and let's do a similar filter for the pack size and let's say 0.3. Now that you've done that you can see all our 0.3 plastic SKUs in this view. So for January all these values here should equal the plastic 0.3 cell in this module here. So, first of all, we need to get our volumes from DS01. So let's quickly grab that now. 
and then we need to go to sys01 and find the pack type and pack size to sum from there. So if we add sum to our formula, go to sys01 and pick the pack type and then write a similar function, sum for pack size, we should get the correct answer. So for plastic 0 0.3, we get 44,690. And if we go to our original product SKUs, you can see we get a similar result. And that is how the sum function works. Looking at our table, product type and size were line items in sys01, but they were a list in our destination module. Therefore, we had to use the sum function. Another way to think of the sum function is that it's used to create a many to one relationship. We had many product SKUs with the same type and size, and we summed that up into one cell of the module. Let's move on. Now I want to look at RP03, production volumes for the current month. We are going to create this using the lookup function. First, looking at our dimensionality, we can see we are using product SKU and plant here, whereas in DS01, we are using both of those and time as well. For our current month, we are going to use the time settings module I told you about earlier. So, let's start by trying a direct link and see what happens. So if we go into volumes and select the volume line item, we get no values. This is because we didn't tell Anaplan which month to take the values from. We didn't tell it to look up the time settings module to see that the current month is March. So what we need to do is add lookup to our current formula. So if we say look up the current month, we now have values. These values match what we have in DS01. What is also fantastic is because lookup is dynamic, we can change the month. So let's say it's May now, and the values instantly change, and as you can see, they are matching what we have in DS01. Taking a look at our table, time was essentially a list in our source, but we wanted it as essentially a line item in our destination. To do that, we used the lookup function. Another way to think of the lookup function is while sum is a many to one relationship, lookup gives you a one to one relationship. We picked one month and put it in one place. Select is basically the same thing as lookup, However, lookup is dynamic, as we showed before, whereas select is not. Generally, you'll want to use lookup. However, we will demonstrate select for those rare times you want to use it, such as with versions. Let's say we wanted to see the production volumes for only the EMEA region. So as you can see, we don't have zones here, whereas in DS01, we do. So if we make sure we've selected the EMEA region here, we can see the numbers we are looking to get at the end of this demonstration. So let's start off by trying a direct link, just like we did with lookup, to show you a slight difference. So if we try to give a direct link, we get the wrong number. This is because it doesn't know which zone to pick up, so it's going to pick up all of them. So what we need to do is add the select function to our formula. To do that, let's write select, and then you have to go into your lists and pick the specific list member you want to select in this case, EMEA. When we do that, you can see that the numbers now match the numbers we have in DS01. Just like with lookup, zone was a list in our source, however, we wanted a fixed line item to be our destination. Therefore, we used the select function. Let's move on. Our last reporting module is RP05. And with this, I want to show you how you can use sum and lookup together to show some pretty interesting results. If we go into RP05, you can see that I've made most of it already. We have the volumes, which I've pulled from DS01, the pack type and pack size, which I pulled from our systems modules. We have the volume by type and size, which will essentially be the RP02 results for that specific product SKU. And then we have percentage production of combination, meaning how much does that specific product SKU make up the total production of all SKUs with the same product type and size. For example, how much of the 0.3 plastic production do we do is made up of just the chocolate 0.3 plastic SKU? 
To do this, we will need to combine both SUM and LOOKUP to find the result we want. We need to start by doing what we did in RP02, and that is taking our volumes and then summing it by both the pack type and the pack size. However, this formula will also have an extra step of lookup, which is essentially telling Anaplan which product SKU is related to that pack type and pack size. So, after adding the lookups, we will see that we have different volumes for pack type and pack size based on which product SKU it's referring to. And as you can see, all the 03 plastics have 44,690, and that is different from all the other SKU combinations there are. Now we just have to take the individual product volume and divide it by the total volume of all products with that type and size. Now chocolate 0.3 plastic, for example, makes up 13% of all our 0.3 plastic production. Great example of sum and look up together. If we take a look at our table, we can see product type and size were a line item to begin with, and we ended up with a line item in our destination module as well. Therefore, we used a sum and lookup combination there. You can also use a combination of sum and select to do the same thing but with a fixed line item. One very important thing to note about using sum and lookup together is that it is a very heavy formula, meaning it takes Anaplan a long time to deal with it. However, you can make it much faster by splitting SUM and LOOKUP into two separate line items. If we head over to Blueprint View, you can see that I have already created two different line items we can split up our SUM and LOOKUP formula into, that being Tech SUM Volume and Tech LOOKUP Volume. So let's start with the SUM function. Something that's very important when creating this SUM function is to make sure that your applies to is in the correct dimensionality that is, the dimensionality you are summing up by. For us, that is pack type and pack size, as you can see here. Now we can take our sum line item and use it to create our lookup line item. So if we take text sum volume and then look up the pack type and pack size of the specific product SKU we are referring to, we should get the same result as our volume by type and size line item. So let's finish that off and go back to our grid view, show all the columns, and as you can see, the tech number is the same as the volume by type and size number, in a way that is much better for Anaplan. And there you have it, the difference between sum, lookup, and select in Anaplan. You can download the table we used in the description down below. Subscribe to be notified whenever we release a new video, and follow us on LinkedIn at Sonam International for more helpful content. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.